something is dear to me and I, I, I know that it would be dear to you. We're going to do for the uh, next several weeks, we're just going to uh, have a pilot program to see how this works. But we're going to uh, have a uh, prayer for the nation. Uh, we know the problems that exist and going on in our nation and not only in the USA but all over the world. And I couldn't think of a better uh, person to, uh, to pray and, and we've talked about this in, in Brother Robert Thomas. Now his prayers will be uh, directed and tailored toward uh, our country and what's going on in, in our country. And we're going to ask him to give away and we're just going to let him pray in his own way. And we ask that you pray for him uh, as he prayed for the world and its conditions and the United States and its conditions. So we're going to do this and we just ask that you, you bear with us on, on this morning. We know the prayers of the righteous, they are very much. Uh, this time we're going to ask the Robert Thomas to come around and give prayer for our, our nation. And after then, uh, Minister Anderson will come and uh, you know, pray again for, for our general prayer. But this time we're going to go give way for prayer for the nation, Brother Robert Thomas. Thank you, Pastor. Bless you. As you know, our nation right now is suffering. We are going through some very difficult times. Yes, sir. So we're going to go to our Heavenly Father in prayer. And ask Him for his help yes. and direction. Most holy and righteous Father. Father, we come to you this morning because we need your help. Yes. We know that you are a God that sits high, but you look low. Pray to him. And right now, Father, the United States of America, and not only here, but around the world, yes, we're going through all kinds of turmoil. Yes. yes. We, our souls are losing hope. Lord, have mercy, mercy. And Father, it's because of um, injustice and, yes. and a lack of love to one another. Take the time. Talk to it, Master. Talk to it. Father, we come to you this morning because we need you to help us, Father. Please, Father. Help Please. the leaders of, this, of, of the countries around the world. Yes. But especially, Father, we are asking you that you will bless America. Yes. We ask, Father, that you touch the hearts of those whose hearts are okay. have a lack of love in it. Okay. Uh, it appears that they have a deprivation of morality around, all around the country. Talk to the master. And Father, we ask that you will touch their hearts, Father, and help them, Father, that they will understand that uh, you are not pleased with this kind of behavior. Yes. We have those, Father, who are, who are afraid because they are losing their country. Talk to them. We have those, Father, who cannot get any justice, and therefore there can be no peace. Pray to him. We ask, Father, that you would touch those, Father, who have lost loved ones because of violence, mm -hmm. particularly from the police. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, Father, we ask that you would bless those families. Please, Father. 
touch them, Father, and wipe the tears from their face. Oh, yes. And their eyes, Father, oh, they yes. as, as, they are, as they are suffering because of, their, of losing their loved ones. Oh, yes. And, Father, we pray that you would uh, touch the hearts of the police and the, and, and, and the yes. Uh, yes. Touch and all of those fathers who are, are in positions of authority. Yes. Touch them, Father, and make America a place of love. Pray to the master. A place of love and respect for one another. Yeah. Father, we pray for that family, Father, who lost that son, uh, lost that father. Lost their lost that mother. Yeah. Lost that daughter. Yes. Yes. Because of the violence, Father, and, wow. and the hate in, 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 in others' hearts. And Father, we pray that we will be able to forgive those who have killed our loved ones. And my, my. Because of the color of our skins. And Lord have mercy. Or our ethnic backgrounds. Pray to it. Pray Father, to we ask Father that He will make America a place where they will, where those, where, where people will not have to be afraid uh, when their son go to the store. Ah, uh, pray to it. Will not have to be afraid when their father goes to work mm -hmm. and can expect him to be back home without. Any violence, Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And Father, we ask that you will bless those, Father, who are in, in who bless the uh, churches from around the world. And please, Father, please. And bless those, Father, who are standing up for righteousness. Yes, 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 yes. We pray, Father, that we will have more yes. of those standing up for the what is right. Yes. And do not sit and be silent when they see another one being treated in a manner that is, it is not good, is that is not respectful. Yes. And Father, we pray for those who have been desensitized uh, and have dehumanized others. Mm. Father, we just, we, we have lost hope here, but we still have hope uh, in, 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 in the afterlife. Oh, yes. Yeah. We have not lost that hope, Father. Yeah, no. We still have hope in Jesus Christ. Yes, yes. We have not Amen. lost that hope. Yeah. But the hope here on earth, where we my, my, my. are trying to yeah. live in peace yeah. and equality, yes. we pray for that. We are praying for that hope, Father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we have not lost our hope in you. No, that's it. That's right. Father, we come to you with this prayer, Father, and we pray that, Father, that you, that you have lent you us your ears. Yes. Yeah. And that you have heard us, Father, that you will uh, bless our prayer this morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Bless for this Father. nation. Bless, Father. Bless America, Father. Yes. Yes. Bless America. Yes. Bless America. Jesus. Bless all of America. Yes. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Yes. 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 Amen. 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 We'd like to say God bless you to Robin and to those that have been attentive to the ears, with your ears to uh, to the prayer, and uh, continue praying for our nation. Now we would like to say a special prayer for we today in uh, our own home grounds. Please lend an ear. Oh, merciful God in heaven, 
Uh, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, Lord, as, as it is yes. in heaven. Give us this day, Lord, our daily bread. Yes. Lead us not, Lord, into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Yes. For thine is the kingdom and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Dear God, we come this morning as empty cups before an ever-flowing fountain, dear Master, seeking, dear Father, your strength, your guidance, your might, dear Father. Yes. And Master, we come, dear Father God, humbly yes. by uh, the issues of life, dear Master, that we uh, continue to face, dear Father, and Master, we are humble, dear Master, because, dear God, we know, dear Master, that everything is in your hands. Rachel. All power is in your hands. Rachel. This morning, dear Father, we I want to direct my prayer and say that, God, I'm not worried about those things, dear Master, that I can't handle. <laughs> because, dear Master, I know somebody that's able to handle all things. Talk to him. He lets the sun rise early in the morning and yes. set the moon up in the skies at night and move the stars about the skies and the master knows how to change the seasons. Yes. Dear Father, I know that if you can do all that, certainly, dear Master, you can direct our lives in our era, in our everyday lives. Yes. So, dear Father, we're, we're trusting, dear Master, in you and asking, dear Father, that to go by the homes of East Dallas, West Dallas, South Dallas, Oak Cliff, yeah. uh, uh, Duncanville, DeSoto, and uh, uh, out there in the North Dallas, dear Father God. But go by and visit these homes there, dear Master, and, and, and help us in any way that we need help. My, my. Give us back, dear Father God, or give us more courage. Lord, I believe, dear Father, but I heard. The, the prophet, when he, the, 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 the disciple, when he says, help my unbelief. Yes, sir. I believe that you can move, dear Father, but help their, thy, my unbelief, yes. dear Master, that I might know, dear Master, that you are almighty, dear Father. Praise In you. our families, dear Master, our children, dear Master, Praise bless you. our children. Some of them are grown now, and they do some of grown folks' stuff, <laughs> dear Father. But sometimes we are ignorant of some things, even in our adult lives. And so, dear Master, I'm asking that you continue to bless our children. Bless our grandchildren, dear Father, as we try to help our children rear our grandchildren. Help us, dear Father God, that we might be continual on an example to those children and our grandchildren, dear Master. Help us, dear Father, as we go out to the world, dear Master, that we show Christ. We show we show strength. We show we show we show determination. Yes. We show we show we show we show fortifiedness. We show, dear Master, that we can be moved. We show that we're a tree planted like the tree planted by the rivers of the waters, dear Master, that we're not going to easily be moved, dear Master, by these things and circumstances that surround our lives, dear Master. We know, dear God, that Pray you hold the key to everything. Pray and we know that you are our everything. Yes. Keep holding us, keep blessing us. Please, Master. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Mm. And we pray. Amen. 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 Turn it back into the hands of the Pastor, Pastor J.D. Fontaine.
Christ and you uh, go and give me mine. I'll see you here first. <laughs> well, certainly thankful to God Almighty for all that he has done. And I certainly want to say to our brother, Brother Thomas, uh, which worded the prayer for, prayer for the nation, uh, the excellent job well done. And we pray that the Lord ears were attentive uh, to the words that you've spoken. We certainly appreciate you. We'll continue this for a little bit and see how it goes. But we know uh, we stand in need of prayer for our nation. And again, we just want to, uh, we want to uh, thank you for uh, praying for us. And also for Minister Anderson, uh, uh, for praying for, for the family. We know that our families stand in the need of prayer, and if you're out there, uh, please, please accept these prayers, and, and we pray that God will bless you as you listen to uh, these prayers. If you just give me a few moments, and, and uh, the lesson will be yours. I am looking uh, in the New Testament again. Matthew, the chapter is 11. And we're going to look at a familiar passage. The passage, uh, a lot of times, is quoted, and, and, but I just want to bring out a point that may help you in this uh, lesson. In the latter part of the chapter, and Jesus is doing the talking. In Chapter 11, and the verses are 28 through 30. It reads thusly. He says, come unto me. That's what he said. Listen, I'm coming back to that. Come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavily laden. If you're carrying a load, what do you say? That's right. If you're carrying a load, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Mm -hmm. For I am, now he talks about himself there. For I am mm -hmm. meek and lowly in heart. Mm -hmm. And ye shall find rest mm -hmm. for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. To understand verse number 28, you have to understand to whom he's referring to because you have to go back to verse number 25. And, mm -hmm. and <laughs> uh, it's interesting because uh, in verse number 25, he says, uh, he's hearing these things for, for those that, that are prudent, those that are wise, smart folk. Those who really think they got it going on. <laughs> but I have given and revealed it unto babes. I've given it to somebody that, that will, is going to accept. Somebody just like me. And Brother Charles said, Folk like us. <laughs> he said, That's why I've given it to you. And when I, I look at this, I want you to follow it because my, my subject is hand it over. Right. Hand it over. Is it not strange that so many of us talk about love, joy, and peace? Yes. Everybody you see talk about that. Right. But the truth is that we are carrying our problems. Everybody talks about peace, love, and joy, tranquility, but yet out of all of that, we still carry our problems even as Christians. It's easy to see our problems on our faces. He walked up to somebody and looked at him and said, something wrong, what's going on? Right. It's all over their face in the action. Right. And you can hear it in their voices. Sometimes their voices have a little triple in it or something. And you say, what's wrong? What's going on? There is stuff going on everywhere. Right. From your house to the white house to the black house. Yeah. Stuff going on everywhere. We often lose our focus because we are captured by our problems. If you're not careful, your problems will capture you. I, 
I know you love Jesus and all that kind of stuff. Catch me right here. But if you're not careful, you, you will allow your problems to actually capture uh, you. You get so bogged down until we become confused. Uh, and then we, we can't decipher the lines of spirituality from reality. Sometimes we get confused with the reality <laughs> and our spirituality. The lines become blurred because sometimes we get so bogged down in and with our, our problems. Be careful. Mm -hmm. Because even you and me, sometimes they get bogged down to the point that the lines of spirituality and reality will become blurred. If you're not careful, you'll find yourself focusing on reality because reality is now. And people will tell you, that's what I'm going through right now. You don't understand, Pastor. This is what's happening right now. Right. While losing some of their spirituality. Right. Even Paul says, Philippians 3 and 13, forgetting those things which are behind. Right. The problem is that we keep our past present. Preach one thing. The problem is we keep our past present. Some people can't talk about the past unless they bring it over to the present. We can't leave what's in the past in the past because if you leave it in the past, it'll be past and you can't bring it to the present. The reason we bring it to the present is because we bring our past to the present. You'll understand that in a minute. I can't hand it over. I can't hand my problems over. I can't hand it over. Because, number one, I'm stubborn. Mm -hmm. I'm just too stubborn and I'm like a mule. I am, <laughs> some of y'all don't know about mules, you young folk, but you know what I'm talking about. But like a mule, you also don't know what I'm talking about. Stubborn. I'm so stubborn that <laughs> I, I can't turn it over. Sometimes I'm rebellious. Sometimes I just flat right out and refuse to turn it over. I got it and I can't let it go. But it's a problem, but you don't understand. I can't let it go. I have spiritual weakness. Just leave it alone. Can I tell you? Just leave it right. alone. Right. And then I like these last two. I can work it out myself. Mm. Yeah. You ever been to something? Yeah. <laughs> leave it alone. I can work it out myself. Well, let me tell you something. It's very little that we can work out on our own. That's why we need Jesus. That's right. The problem is, you've left Jesus out of your life. <laughs> Listen to the prayer. Asking Jesus to come into our life. Asking for help in our lives. But you know what? I'm so big and I'm so bold and I'm so smart. I, I, and you know what? I've been working on this. I'm going to work this out. No, you're not going to work it out. Who can you change? Yeah. What can you change about a day? If the sun rises hot today, you gonna turn the thermostat down and say it's gonna be cool. And by the way, the meteorologists <laughs> don't decide how hot and how cold it's gonna get. Right. If they could, it wouldn't have been five below zero here in the state of Texas. Hmm. It lets you know who's in control. Yes. God is in control of all of it. And then I like the last one. Some folks will tell you, I don't need no help. Because it makes me look big and strong. I don't need no help from nobody. Folks will tell you that. Preach one thing. Yeah. I don't need no help from nobody. I said, I'm, let me tell you this. And old folks used to tell me, big mama used to say, keep on living. Keep on living. Keep on living. You don't need some help from somebody. somebody. <laughs> uh, keep on talking. You don't need some help from somebody. There are things that come up that you can't handle. Lord have mercy. In our text, Jesus, he offers direct help to them. Jesus, he's giving them an invitation. Jesus is giving them a problem. Yeah. What is he offering? Preach out. I'm so glad you guys are. Come on, Pastor, tell me what he's offering. He's offering to them freedom. Lord have mercy. If you come to me, I can offer you freedom. You don't know how it feels when you have a problem and that problem is lifted. Y'all ever had that? Let me come over here. Let me come over here. Let me talk to you just for a minute. You ever had something really bother you and it's finally lifted? Man, the freedom that you have when it's finally lifted. Have you ever been paying on something? You said, I'd be glad I could prepare for this car. I'd be glad I could prepare for this house. And you 
come to me. Yeah. I'm offering you something, Fontaine. I know you've been carrying this. But see how long you've been carrying this. I've seen some people carry stuff to their grave. They never handed it over. Lord have mercy. I have been called to bedsides. Pastor, go tell Brother So and so. Go tell us. You mean you're 70 years old, you're 80 years old, and you've been carrying that for 60 years in your bag? It's time for you to hand it over. See, see, let me say something. You will never be able to enjoy the freedoms of Christ. <laughs> and I see why some people don't, don't enjoy it. I don't see no Christian folk get out of it. There's a freedom there. Do you, are you saying now, Pastor, that everything's going to be just perfect in your life? No. No. But I have learned, like Paul, I learned not to carry problems. Mm -hmm. What you going to do about it? What's, what you going to do about it? What are you going to do about some problem? The one thing we can do is give that problem oh. to the master. Yes. Give it over. I used to be concerned to tell you this. My time is getting long. <laughs> my son and my daughter, they smoke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I used to fuss with them, fuss with my wife. I got a key that I'm stuck in out there. Mm -hmm. Take it out of your mouth. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Then Kay said, huh? They're grown. Mm -hmm. Right. What you, yeah. That's right. What you, what you gonna do about it? Yeah. Do you yeah. smoke? No. Yeah. Why you carry it if you don't smoke?
I want y'all to come. Come, come unto me. And what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is, is, is I, I want to give you a little freedom. But you're going to have to hand it over. Hand it over. Number two, hand over the wheel, hand over your way. You hear some people say, this is just my way. Hmm. I, I, I've heard people tell me that. I said, well, what you should, you know, you should lean toward the Lord. This is just my way. Your way may be ugly. Yeah. Your way may not be right. You know. That's it. This is just my way. Oh, yeah. This is just my way. <laughs> I'm my own person. This is just my way. So you got some stuff down in this bag. Way down here. <laughs> I don't even know if I can find yours. Yours all covered up all up under here. Yeah. all kind of stuff over here. Yeah. Lord have mercy. Woo All kind of stuff over here. You know. Now what I want to tell you about this, I'm telling you in the minute about this stuff. Jeremiah 10, 23, oh Lord, I know that the a way of men, the way of a person is not in themselves. That's right, too. Yeah, that's right. It ain't in you. Jeremiah said, it's, it's not in me. No. That I can direct my own footsteps. Yeah. It's not in you. Where you are today is not because you plan to be here or be there. Or it's the way of God that have laid out our lives. Somebody 30 years ago said, you be standing up here preaching to a camera. I said, you crazy. Mm -hmm, yeah. You out of your mind. <laughs> God has already laid it out. Yeah. Huh. He said, on this day, you know what? Brother Robert's going to come and he's going to be praying for the nation. Yeah. Ellen's going to come and he's going to pray for the nation. Yeah. Oh, you didn't know that. No, you didn't. Mm -hmm. But I call your mother, don't tell you. You wouldn't know she would be here today. Mm -hmm. He says, not. I think you wreck my own footsteps. It lets us know that there's a hard power. That, uh, yeah. I, I got some renaissance. There's some way beyond me. Yes, it is. There's some way beyond me. Yes, it is. In the hospitals and out. <laughs> Troubles up and downs. And I, you know what? I'm telling you, I, it really just meant learning now and understanding how to live freely. Amen. And to leave some stuff alone in here that I can't do nothing about. Amen. Yeah, can't do nothing. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Can't nothing. Do it. <laughs> nothing for you, nothing for you. What am I gonna change the mind now? He want to put circles in his head with haircuts. <laughs> what can I do about it? <laughs> he said, boy, walk right here. He got circles cut in his head uh, uh, with his haircut. <laughs> it don't make sense, bro, Rob. Uh, if he just knew how he look, <laughs> guess what? If he okay with it, yeah, that's right. let me say it here. I said, if he okay with it, right. I'm going to be all right. I'm going to go home. He be some cornbread and green. He said, not in you to direct your own footsteps. You gotta hand over to your will, your way. And then you gotta hand over your life to God. Yes. That's right. Come on. Now that's that's big. Yeah. You gotta hand over, you got, I'm not here living here. Yeah. You gotta hand over your life. When he says, come unto me, <laughs> he was really talking about the lives. Bring all your problems, because I'm gonna change your life. Hand over your life. Whosoever was saved. His life shall lose it. Right. What, what, what do you mean? What, what, what are you talking about? You got to give up your way and your will, how you think, yeah. and start thinking Jesus' way, right. the righteous way. Right. Lose your thought about how you do it. What does God want? Yeah. How does God will direct me? Uh -huh. Lose your life. And then he said, but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake and the gospel, you know what? You're going to save you. Let me tell you something about this. I gotta close my time is running. Can I tell y'all something about this? Talk for you. Talk. Talk for you. Can I tell y'all something about this? Yeah. Alright. For the close. Yes. Everything in here is empty. Hmm. <laughs> Come on. I got it. Y'all missed that You missed that You missed that Everything in here is empty. So a lot of the stuff that you are carrying actually brings one thing. No weight. No yeah, it holds no weight. It ain't got no weight. That's why I made it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah one thing I fix is that it ain't got no weight, but I made it a weight for a lot of those. Oh, get it on. You ain't got that's the, that's the devil that fooled you. 
You know what I've been carrying this my whole life? I've been but I'm tired of this. Yeah. Here, Brother Robert. Pointless, though. I don't want it. I've been handed over. Yeah. Meaningless. You see? Yeah. By the way, I have close. Nobody wants your mess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay? Please, my name. Yeah. Now, you know Nobody wants your yeah. mess. I can't give this away. I don't know. No, no. Mrs. Edwards, no. you want this? No, no. no. Michelle, you want it? No, sir, no, sir. Kenny, you want it? Nobody wants it. <laughs> no, no, no. I got my arm. Nobody wants my mess. I got my arm. So the best heart. thing you can do <laughs> with your mess and the stuff you can. Give it to God. Yeah. Throw it away. Yeah. Nobody wants it, and you shouldn't want it. Yeah. That's why I tell you. Just hand it over. Give it up. Let it go. Live your life, and you will be blessed. In a mighty way. Come on to me, oh you hear me? I got something good for you. I'm gonna bless you. I'm gonna help you. Just hand it over. Stop fighting about it. Let it go. Let God handle it. And you'll be blessed. And we love you. Amen. Like you do, and you got a death.